Legalize nuclear bombs. What up? So about 10 days ago, we released this mod called Siren Head, and a lot of people have been saying a lot of good stuff about it, but a lot of people have been asking, how the hell do I download this? Please help. And recently, we've also added a config file to the mod, so now you can disable him, absolutely obliterating your house. So today, I'm gonna show you quickly how you download the mod and how you access the config and change the breaking thing to false. So first of all, open up your Curse Forward launcher if you don't have it yet. I recommend downloading it. You could do this without a Curse Forward launcher, but it's a bit more complicated and it's a bit more annoying just get the curse force thing it's really fucking easy and if you do not legally own minecraft then i'm afraid i cannot help you you're wrong so what you want to do is you want to go up here and click create custom profile now you can call it whatever you want you can call it siren head let's just call it that and then you choose the 1.19.2 version by default it should be forge if it's not just click forge and then just create now give it a little bit for everything to set up and now as you can see it's already fine now this is just a profile this is a mod pack without any mods so what you want to do is what you want to go up here this little puzzle image whatever you want to call that and you click that and then you search in the search bar siren head and there we go it should be the first thing it's called siren head that arrival and all you got to do is click install and then you just click back at the top and it's in here now if you want to have some nice looking shaders if you have the you know the pc that can run that then you just go under shaders you just go again under this this little tab here and then you don't even need to search anything because the best ones are already at the top the ones i always use in my videos pretty much is uh these complement complementary unbound or reimagined both should work fine and you just install whichever one you want you can just install both you can also install the insanity one that one's also good but it is a bit more laggy if you don't have a great pc oh and if you do want to use shaders uh i forgot to mention this you do need to go at the mods thing and just search oculus and just click install this is just a shaders launcher thing you, you kind of need this for uh you know you can either use this or optifine but optifine i don't think uh is on curse forge yeah optifine is not on curse forge so if you're using the launcher just use oculus it's way easier and there we go the rubidium thing should install by itself with oculus and then you're good to go <laughs> Now you need one more thing, uh, which I forgot almost about, but uh, you gotta add some more stuff and you gotta add gecko lib. This is very important. For now, you will need to add a gecko lib. We're gonna have, we're gonna change for the official release that it's not gonna be gecko lib. It's gonna be something else because gecko lib is shit. But yes, this is what you need to play Siren Head with the shaders. This is what you need. This, this is the only things you need. Now, if you're interested, what I have in my mod pack for my videos. I use some extra stuff like the Alex's mob, the ambient sounds, some furniture, biome so plenty, uh, you know, just some casual stuff, the furniture mod, you know, uh, tree harvester and just some simple stuff like that, nothing special. Okay, so now you have your Siren Head mod pack, but you're a pussy, so you don't want Siren Head to break the fuck out of your house. What do you do? You do need to launch the game first, so go ahead and launch the game once and then come back. Okay, so after you have successfully opened the game and closed the game, what you want to do is you go up here to the triple dot thingy and then you click open folder. Now this will open the this profiles folder on your PC and what you have here is a folder called config. So you just go into that and then you find siren head. Find siren head, the siren head file and then right click it and then open it with notepad, edit with notepad, whatever it says. Click that and then there you go. As you can see, this has opened. And now all you gotta do is this line here where it says destroy blocks with melee. I can see the devs also misspelled with, with two W's, but that's fine. Extra W doesn't hurt. In this line, this true, you change this to false. And then don't forget to save, uh, which you can just do with control S or you go file and save and then you just close it and that's it and then you open up the game and it should work fine he shouldn't be breaking anything except leaves and you should be good there we go that's all i gotta say i'm very tired so i'm gonna go to sleep have a good day boys yeah!